Today we're talking about DJI's latest drone Air 2S. My thoughts, what I like about this drone and also what I don't like about this drone. And let's go! Hey guys, welcome back. If this is your first time here, my name is Luca and I'm a stock photographer and videographer. I'm selling my photos and videos online on iStock and Getty Images and I'm also making these videos about photography, stock photography, videography, camera gear. Uh, so if you like this kind of content, subscribe to my channel. So DJI recently released this new drone called Air 2S. So in this video I'm going to tell you my opinion about this drone. It won't be an in-depth review, so if you want that there are plenty of videos online already, but I just wanted to give you my thoughts, my opinion about it from using it a few times. Of course this video is not sponsored by DJI, I bought this drone with my own money. Ok, so let's see what we have here and what are the reasons I bought this drone. Of course the most important thing about this drone for me is the camera. It features 1 inch CMOS sensor and together with the drone's size this makes a perfect drone for my needs. 1 inch sensor is a huge upgrade from the previous Mavic Air 2. Too. That means a bigger pixel, better image quality, better low light performance, better dynamic range. This drone can shoot in 5.4K in 30 frames per second, which means a lot of options in editing if you want to crop your footage and still get 4K resolution out of it, or you can use dynamic zoom option in post to draw attention to your subject even more, all that without losing quality. Also, it shoots 60 frames per second in 4K which is great if you want to get some slow motion shots but it has quite a noticeable crop when you're shooting in 50 or 60 FPS. It also shoots in a 10 bit D-Log profile which is amazing for color grading. Uh, dynamic range is very good and you can really get a lot of details from highlights and also from shadows. Camera is a little bit wider than in the previous version so this one is 22mm wide compared to 24mm on Mavic Air 2 or 28mm on Mavic 2 Pro. And for me that's great because usually you want wider shots when you're shooting with a drone, but if you like narrower field of view you have an option to use zoom feature. Of course it's not optical zoom, but nonetheless uh, it's quite useful. You can zoom in 4 times in 4K resolution or 8 times in Full HD. Of course there's no zoom mode in 5.4K mode and also it does not work in D-Log color profile. Uh, I know that because I was searching for this option like crazy and then I actually realized that I have to switch to normal color profile and only then the zoom option shows up. I would prefer this option to be grayed out in D-Log or in 5.4K uh, so at least you know that it's there, but yeah, it is what it is. Another thing about this camera that I don't like so much is fixed aperture. You can't control it, it will always be f2.8. And I don't mind shooting at f2.8 because with such a small sensor pretty much everything is sharp anyway, but if you want to maintain ISO and shutter speed so you don't get that um, choppy footage, you need to use ND filters. Luckily they included ND filter pack so that's a plus because you don't have to spend another hundred bucks on some third party ND filters. Of course I would prefer having adjustable aperture but I guess they have to leave some features out to separate this one from its big brother. Like all other DJI drones it offers smart features so it can track you follow you, uh, orbit around you and similar stuff. So not much new here except that they improved some of these modes so they are more reliable, they track the object better and so on. One mode that's new here is master shots. And in this mode you simply select your subject and the drone will fly around for a few minutes and put together a nice sequence of shots. Uh, it's kinda cool, I'm not sure if I'll ever use this feature but if you just need a quick clip for your Instagram post or story, 
it will do everything for you. It will cut clips, put them together, add nice music and that's it. But one thing that I really don't like about these smart features is that if you want to shoot in 5.4K resolution or in higher frame rates, so above 30 frames per second in any resolution, then you just won't be able to use those features. And that was quite a disappointment for me. I was imagining filming myself running in 60 FPS, but then I realized I'll not be able to do that. So yeah, keep that in mind. Also, you can get 20 megapixel raw images from this camera, which is also an improvement from the previous 12 megapixels on Mavic Air 1 and Air 2. Well, uh, Mavic Air 2 actually offered 48 megapixels. Uh, I'm not sure what was the technology behind that, but I'm 100% sure that 20 megapixel image from this uh, one inch sensor is much, much, much better than 48 megapixel image from smaller sensor in Mavic Air 2. Also, I noticed that this drone is really fast. Especially I noticed that when I was moving up or down. I was not expecting that and I was switching to cinema mode quite a lot to get those slower smooth shots. Uh, remote control is almost identical to the one from Mavic Air 2. I like that you have your phone on the top and I think that's much better from the ones where you have your phone on the bottom. And it's really responsive, easy to use, so I don't have anything to say about it. Transmission has been improved with OcuSync 3.0, which means that you can be up to 12 kilometers away with your drone. Well, of course, if there are no obstacles between you and the drone and you will still have full HD image transmission, which is just amazing. I probably won't try that uh, anytime soon, but it's nice to have that strong, reliable transmission because with the first Mavic Air, even when I was not flying very far away, it's lost signal sometimes during the flight. They also added ADS-B. Uh, that's actually a feature that tells you if there are any airplanes or helicopters that transmit that ADS-B signal in your area and it will show them on your map. And it will also provide audio and visual alerts through the DJI Fly app. The battery on this drone will actually last less time than the one on the previous version, so Mavic Air 2, but not much. They claim this one lasts 31 minutes and the one on Mavic Air 2 lasts 34 minutes. So yeah, not that much of a difference. Both are completely okay for my needs. I think overall it's a great drone. Uh, of course, it can't have everything that you want, but for me it's great and it will replace my previous two drones. So uh, Phantom 4 Pro, which I have because of image quality, but it's big and heavy and my Mavic Air, which I have because of the size, but the quality is not very good. And this one is actually a combination of both. So small, light, with great image quality. Uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button if you find it useful. And of course, subscribe for more videos like this. Uh, thanks for being here and I will see you in my next video.